select and mask operation allows you to perform complex cutouts in one easy step. Go to the select menu and choose select and mask. And you'll see the image ghosted with a default of 20% transparency. With the selection brush, just trace over the area of the image that you want to keep and Photoshop will automatically recognize what's foreground and what's background. It won't always get it right. There's a bit up here that shouldn't be included. Hold down Option or Alt and drag over it to remove these areas. And you can always add back in areas that are removed accidentally. Let now view this against a black background. Shortcut is A. And here you can see it hasn't made that good a job of it. But switch to the hair tool and now as you drag over it it'll intelligently separate the hair recognizing what's foreground and what's background to produce a much better cutout. As you drag over the image it refines it until you get a remarkably good result. If we view it against white, to tidy up any rough edges, you can switch to the brush tool and paint them back into your selection. When you're done, you can output it as a selection. I'd recommend always outputting it as a layer mask so that you have all the original data there. You can turn it on and off with the shift key to view the original and edit the mask as required.